All right, guys, so here's me using the DeepSeek R1 1.5 billion parameter model right on my computer. And guess what? This is running absolutely locally on my computer. This model is actually downloaded onto my computer's hard drive. And this app allows me to run this model with a full chat UI, just like you would with ChatGPT, Claude, or any other AI for that matter. Here's me asking, what is quantum computing? And just like that, in a few seconds, I have the full AI output. Now, obviously the R1 is the reasoning model. This is a simple question. So obviously it didn't really think much, but as you can see, it also does the thinking part if you had questions that are a little more complicated. Now, the best part is you don't need access to the internet. You don't need to share email, login, nothing. You can use this free forever for as much as you want with no need for cloud servers or anything else right on your computer. This was the most frequent comment I've been getting on my last few videos where I've been say, uh, sharing a lot of these open source models that people just wanted to use AI locally. So when it comes to using AI locally, the two biggest concerns where people would need to know how to use the terminal to download these local LLMs and then be able to set up a user environment where they would be able to use this, run backend servers and stuff like that. Now for this video, I wanted to show you a completely non-technical way of doing this. It's just a simple software. You download, you download the model and you hit a couple buttons and you're up and running. And for the second problem, as you know, that the DeepSeek model that you would use on the cloud is 70 billion parameters. The one that I'm using here is 1.5 billion parameters. So this is a much smaller model. It's less than one gigabyte of space. And with any decently basic computer, you would be able to run it. And honestly, for your daily AI use cases, you really don't need a 70 billion parameter model. Like this is more than enough. And not only this, with this software, you can access many other models. As you can see, there's tons of them that you can just download. You can also use Hugging Face to download more models. You can have web search on as well with real-time data and so much more. So we'll dive into the software in a second. But before that, I want to show you what this is and how to get this installed on your computer. So I've been always using Olama to essentially install these local LLMs and also be able to run them. And anytime I needed to use a chat interface, I would use something called Open Web UI. Now that requires a little bit of technical knowledge or at least be able to be comfortable with following some technical instructions. I will make another video for the people that are interested, but with this software called Misty, link will be in the description as always, you'll be able to use a complete application that allows you to use any models locally or use the cloud models through an API, never need to log in, no need to share any information, all your prompts, everything is stored locally, and you would be able to use the internet, attach files, create knowledge bases, whatever you want, all of this is possible with this app, and it's all for free. So I'm really excited to show you guys this, so let's get started. Now, before anybody calls me out in the comments, you are able to use ChatGPT, Claude, and any of the cloud stored models with API. Obviously calling the API is gonna cost you money. And when you prompt it, the prompts are still gonna go to that cloud service. The software has the ability to use those cloud models in case you need more power and you wanna run those powerful models and not just depend on your computer to be able to run the local models. So it has that ability, but you don't necessarily need to use it if you are super concerned with data and privacy you can always just rely on your local models and keep running it. And if you have a really, really powerful computer, you would be able to run some of the powerful models as well. Also, here's the pricing page. As you can see, the main software with all of its features are pretty much free forever. However, you know, there's an annual subscription if you want to use a lot of the advanced features and there's a lifetime for 159. They're not sponsoring this video. I'm not affiliated with them either. I'm just showing you all of this just so you have all the information. Okay, in order to download this app, it's pretty simple. You just go here and download the version that's right for your computer. Mine is a Mac, so I downloaded the Apple Silicon one. Once you have this downloaded, then go ahead and install it. And once you install it, go ahead and open up the app. Now, for me, it brings me to the chat page. However, once you open it up for the first time, it will give you two options, one on the left that will say something about local AI setup, and on the right, it will say about the cloud setup. Go ahead and click the local one setup. For me, DeepSeek was like the default model that they had, so it just went ahead and downloaded it. For you, it could be something else, but all of these models are pretty good. And again, these are all local models and open source, so no matter the model you download, you're fairly safe. Now, a little bit of housekeeping. This is where you type the prompt. 
This is where you can choose the models that you have. Currently, I only have the DeepSeq installed, so that's the only one that's showing up. Here you can have model options. So you have max output tokens. You can keep this to 4,000. You can crank it all the way up to 64,000. You also have temperature, which controls the degree of randomness for the next token to predict. If you keep it low, it's going to be more accurate and strict. If you crank it up, it's just going to be more creative and wild. You can also have a context window size. So depending on how much information you're feeding in, you can also like increase this to about 512,000. Other than that, you have advanced options. There's a lot of statistical parameters here, like the top P, top K. Honestly, I wanna keep this video really non-technical, so I don't wanna dive in too much of these. If any of you guys want, let me know in the comments and I can make a detailed video going over every single one of the things. Again, understand that this is still a very powerful software, so they do offer a lot of different features doesn't mean you have to use it. You can chat with any of the open source AI models or the cloud-based ones without really knowing or have to play with any of these things. Now, there's one other thing here, which is the model instructions. Think of this as a pre-prompt, but the thing is you don't really have to use it here. You can just go in here and basically it's a pre-prompt that helps you add more context for any of your chat. For example, if you use this for research, you would define this model as a research model and certain behavioral patterns that you want the AI to have for all your questions. You can also access quick prompts here. Now this app already offers so many of them, like this is like a really, really, really long list of prompts, right? And you can also create your own prompts by going into manage prompts. This is to clear and save, and that's pretty much it. Now, there is another thing here that's called split chat. So if you were to click here, you can have two chats if you click here again, you can have three chats. Like this, you can have multiple chats. This is phenomenal because you could do two research side by side. Maybe on one, you're building like a thesis. Another one, you're doing a lot of web search. Like I said, for a free software, this is just amazing. So if you want to get rid of these, you go here and you do remove chat. Now down here, you also have real-time data off. So if you click this, it's basically now going to be able to use the internet to get you latest and greatest information as needed. Here you can add knowledge stacks. Now this is a little different than adding images and documents. Obviously you can click here and add any image or documents uh, from your computer. Now, just so you know, for the YouTube links, you need their paid plan. And for images, you need to have a vision model. Again, that's available for free if you want to use an open source one. But DeepSeek R1 is just not one of those. Now, the last option here is called a sticky prompt. When a sticky prompt is pinned, it's added to the beginning of each message while ignoring the, any previous ones. This effectively makes the conversation focused on one active context. Now, the only difference between this and the model instruction is that the model instruction goes in the first time you prompt the model, whereas this one goes in every time you reprompt the model. Now, other than that, this is the sidebar. So if you open this, you can start a new conversation from here. You can create folders and subsections for like different kinds of chats that you want to organize. You also have a bunch of shortcuts here if you want to use those. Next, you have a plus button here that lets you create workspaces. This is just another layer of organization where you can have different models for different use cases. Think of it like, and if you want to have like an audio model, you want to have a vision model, and you have different workspaces for those, or maybe for personal and work, you'll have different workspaces. You can have that as well. Down here, you can access the remote model providers. These are basically your ChatGPT, Claude, Perplexity, or any of the popular closed source models. So you can go here and add any of these using an API. This could be for the advanced tutorial for any of you interested. We're gonna just stick to the local models here for this one. If you click here, you would then be able to access the local AI models. As you can see, I already have the DeepSeq installed. They have Llama 3.3, 3.2. They have Llama Vision. They have the Quen 2.5 coder. They have Mistral Nemo, really, really good model as well. So here you can see how much space it will require, the number of parameters it has, what it specializes in. And the best part is you can see how compatible this is on your computer. As you can see, it's pretty high on the memory requirement. And just remember running these local models on your computer requires a lot of your RAM, a lot of your GPUs. So be mindful of that when you're using these models. You can scroll through the list and check out all the models that they have. If you wanna install any of them, just click here and it'll get downloaded and then it will be available right underneath your chat section 
where you can choose the models. You can also import GGUF models, which basically is just a file format for these kind of models. These will be available on Hugging Face. Again, I'll show you all of that in the advanced tutorial if you guys are interested. If you click here, you can see all your installed models in one place. And the other thing that I want to show you is if you were to click here, it gives you a lot more options of every single one of these models. So for example, under DeepSeek, these are different models with different parameters, different use cases. Again, we'll go over these in more details in the advanced tutorial, but I just wanted to show you that there's this extremely long list of models. And if you click on Hugging Face, you can just put the repository URL here and then access models from there as well. So before we go into the knowledge stack, I just wanna quickly show you the prompts library. This is where you can find all the different prompt templates that are stored that comes with the software, and you can also create your own prompts. Feel free to explore these because I feel like they already have so much. And the best part is if you are trying to create your own prompts, just saying and looking at all of these information is really, really useful to understand how to create these prompts. Lastly, we have settings. If you go here, there's some general settings. Here's your local AI settings and your license details. Again, I don't suggest messing with any of the settings that you don't completely understand or wait for the advanced tutorial. So with all of that covered, I just wanted to show you how it works if you wanted to actually chat with it. So what I have here is how do I build a marketing plan for my SaaS business? I wanna create an app that lets people create and store AI prompts. It thought for like 16 seconds and then output came right after. Obviously, if you were to click on think, you can see the entire chain of thought. So just like the online model, it does its reasoning and you can access that information here. And then the whole output is right here. Now there's a few other things that I wanted to show you. Obviously there's way multiple ways of copying the information. You can copy the reasoning from here. You can copy the entire information from here. You can also see the response matrix, which is really interesting because it shows you tokens per second, how long for the first token to come out, how many input tokens it took, how many output tokens. It's really good information to learn. Obviously, more detailed view is available on their paid plan, but I think this is good enough. If you were to go here, there's a bunch of different tools. We'll dive deep into this in the advanced tutorial, but you can like split into new chats. Uh, you can use this as a prompt in new chats. There's ways to regenerate and a bunch of other things. Now, before I finish the video, I just wanted to show you that there is this visual map of your conversation. So if you were to click here, it has like this nice little tool to sort of visually see all the different searches you're doing. And I mean, it's a cool little thing. Let me know in the comments what kind of ways you're using this visual map. But anyway, this is all I have for the video today. I think it's a really, really nice application. The fact that all of these features are available for free is really mind blowing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, the link for the app will be provided in the description. Feel free to use it. I really wanted this video to be super non-technical and hope it was. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those. And I really hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, I would really appreciate you liking it and do share it with other people so that more and more people can use AI locally and not have to always depend on ChatGP and Claude and all these other tools. And lastly, subscribe because uh, it really helps the algorithm and supports the channel. So with that, I'll see you guys on the next one.